somehow it is November and we just have two months left of the Maker's Creative collab. Um, and this month is Get Your Crayon. I don't know. Cray some about crayons. So I have been making some things and now I want to work on my collage. Don't know what the subject of my collage will be. But, um, yeah. First we have to unroll. Got to glue some things down in here too, but... I don't know. Once, once it's rolled up for eternity, we'll only look at it once in a while anyway. Alright. Getting close. August. September. October. Do I have this wide enough to be able to do that? Yep, yeah, pretty much. And I have my... Oh, I don't have the book things like Gail and Carrie have, but I have these lovely little weights, uh, you know, so, ah. this one, we are, um, my great, Mike's great, Mike's grandpa, my son's great grandpa, um, he was an engineer at some point, or he worked for the, he worked for the railroad at some point, I think, so we had gotten him that, and when he passed, or when his, when his, Mike's grandma passed, she passed last, uh, you know, we got it back. <laughs> so I use it for a weight. All right. I've got some collage papers here. I wish I had a focal point. I wish I had a direction. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. Um, this one's my favorite, I think. So I might start with that. And then maybe pull in some of which one do I like better with it? <sighs> some of those two maybe. A little bit of each. Now for the, this part here, do I want to add some book page maybe? Or maybe even some map? We got a little bit of Alaska here. P lives in Alaska, and Maker's Creative Club is brought to you by PM Artist Studio. PM Artist Studio. Just kind of anchor it with those two, maybe. And glue. Glue those down. Just with some glue stick. Whichever glue stick happens to be closest to me. I like that stenciling across there. I might try not to cover that with solid paper. This is some goopy, goopy, ooh, glue, isn't it? <laughs> it's goopy. Goopy, goopy, goo. I don't want to cover the, the frame from last month, necessarily. I happen to have my maps out because uh, December Ember is coming. Getting very excited about that. If you couldn't tell, some of you could tell, you've been watching the videos. Uh, yep. So this will come out after the hop, and uh, which would have been on a Saturday. So I hope you go back and check out the hop. This is the process video for the hop to show you how I made the thing that I showed you that I made. Which right now, in real time, I, I don't know what it's going to look like yet. <laughs> I'm not loving this really dark piece here, necessarily. Um, I don't mind that that's a little bit plain up there, but I wouldn't mind some sort of text of some sort. I'm looking at my books over here. A German, maybe? Oh! My son's girlfriend is part German. Alright, she's also part El Salvadorian, so... Do I want... to take off the edges or not? Does it matter? It probably doesn't really matter per se, but I'm gonna. Why does this feel like two pieces? It's not. Alright, just kind of... A little bit up there. 
or not up there. Oh, there was two pieces. I, I'm not crazy. <laughs> and my mother had never even had me tested. She just knew I wasn't. <laughs> not, not in the traditional way, anyway. Uh, I don't know what book this is, but it wasn't a bad book because I had my friend with me and she speaks, she's from Germany, so she was able to tell me that, you know, it wasn't like a war book or anything like that. It, it was, it was not a bad book to use. Uh, how about, a, oh, ah, yep, one of my books just fell. A little study in Scarlet. That's what happens when I try to put the books back. They just fall apart got some. I don't think I sent any of this. would have been really brittle if I had sent this to uh, to Patty. I did send her quite a few bit pages of the... Oh, if you haven't watched that, um, uh, Patty Smith. Um, oh, shoot. Sometimes I remember to... I've linked her before. Go check her out. Uh, I, I swapped. She's the one I swapped scraps with. So if you look at the Defend Remember one where I swap scraps. Then that is. Hey, it actually says German right there. <laughs> Remembered a German something. Secret societies. Puzzle the Londoner. Anyway. Uh, what about up here? Do we need anything? I don't know. How's this going to look? Let's see. We've got a lot of the damask on here, and we have some numbers over here, which are a little bit different. I mean, this is, of course, the way it's going to want to tear. Hence, because, you know, there's usually a grain. So, away from the grain is going to be a little, a little difficult. This is, oh, that wasn't too bad. I don't hate what that did. Oh, I think it goes this way anyway. This is, um... Wet strength tissue paper is what this is. So, don't know if I can glue it easily. And it's got, you know, there's a video already that's been out showing how I made these. I'll try to remember to link it in the description box. Because while my process video, where I actually make the project, I wait, but then I try to show some of the process of the making the pieces that go into it. I try to do that beforehand, if I'm able to. Sometimes I wait until the last minute and then that doesn't happen, but, you know, while I'm making this video, while I'm doing this collab, I need to have videos go out and... If I'm spending hours working on this, then I'm not going to have a lot of videos, am I? Oh, let's see. Oh, we got our X's and O's at the very top there, too. Um, X's and O's, they want to. Alright. Just going to put a piece of this. You want a piece of me? You want a piece of this? Take that big glob of glue off of there. Those can connect. It's okay. That is some globby globby glue. And my hands are still messy from making the papers. Because I'm not procrastinating this time. I mean, you never know what's going to happen, right? Do it while you've got the time. You never know what's going to happen with time. So, yep, that's, well, potentially not really the color I want. I don't, I don't like it like I thought I would. See, this has the same crayon in it, so this one, and... It's, uh, you know, opposites. Orange and, uh, orange and blue are opposite on the color wheel. Con they're complementary. They're giving each other all kinds of compliments when I put them together. They're like, oh, you look so nice today. Oh, you look even, you look nice too. They're just so complimentary. That's just how they roll. 
They can go over each other. Sure they can. Except I want something taller right here. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm just gonna, it's gonna do what it's gonna do. And then we're just gonna put it where we're gonna put it. If I were smart, I would have some glue pages and not get glue all over my project. If you don't want to get glue on your stuff, don't glue on your stuff. As Tara of Jacob, Tara Jacobson of Artsy Fartsy Life often says in her videos. Because it's, you know, just like me, it's a do as I say, not as I do kind of a deal. Um... We're just going to let the paper decide what it's going to do, is what we're going to do over here. All right. I haven't done a lot with collage. I like to make collage papers, but then, oh, look at that. We can even be in the camera. That works nicely. <laughs> I got to remember to look. Carrie reminds me. He's like, I mean, he reminds everybody. He's like, I, people need to remember to look. And I'm like, okay, I know he's talking to me. He's not, but he is. <laughs> I know he's not, but I know that he is. It's not just me. I know it's not just me, but it's generally me. <laughs> hey, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. All right, what else? What about some of just this uh, plain tissue? Do we want to add some of that? I mean, it's not plain. It's neutral. The word you're looking for here is neutral, <laughs> not plain. Because uh, I just thought maybe some neutral. Like I said, I don't even know what I'm doing yet. I'm just starting out by putting stuff on a page. Sometimes that's what you do. You just start with that and see where you go. See where it takes you. See where it takes you. This is a thinner... Will it let me just put stuff on it? It will. Somehow, magically, sort of. It doesn't like it. It fights me every step of the way. So, what is, is it Get Your Crayon? I didn't look it up. I should look it up. The hashtag is Get Your Crayons. So, get your crayons. I mean, get your cray cray crazy on. Or you could just get your crayons. I mean, you could just, you know, come in and, whoops, that's still wet. Maybe not do it while it's still wet and just put some crayon. Oh, oops, like I said, wait for it to dry. Oh my word. Do as I say, not as I do. Be smarter. But, uh, you know, a little bit of crayon over here, maybe. A little outline of crayon right there. Where else? Right here. All right, I need this to dry because I do want to do some gesso. Gesso? Gesso. White gesso. Uh, I won't make you close your ears. I'll pause. I keep trying to do better and make sure there's not too much gunk on there when I close it. But still, pretty much every time, it's going to... I'm just going to add some gesso here and there. And the gesso will help glue it down too. And it will also wake up some of the inks that are there. Because some of these are distress inks for sure and for certain. And um, just kind of stick some under there. That will glue it a little bit. Just get my uh, the inside here. Just kind of blend it. Blend Blend it and glue it. <laughs> Make it stay. Okay, come on, stay. I need you to stay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just some random gesso too, as well as long as 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 well as the. Uh, the you did not glue that down very good, did you, lady? Just some, there's some thick little bits of gesso in there too. You can definitely see where the yellow is working. So the yellows and oranges are definitely uh, Ranger Distress Inks. So that's why they are. Now the blue might not be wicking as much. Wicking just means that the color is coming up 
into the gesso and through the gesso. That's what it means wicking. Wicking, wicking, wicking good. Wick it, wicking real good. Do, 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 do. Anyway, one of the actual term, I mean, I knew what was a thing, but I don't think I'd really heard the term before. I took one of Seth Apter's classes. And that was one of the, the uh, techniques for a, uh, a base. Was that his all about? It wasn't all about that. It was layers. Was it layers? No, it was. Yeah, 50 ways to leave your layers. <laughs> Something like that, I think was. <laughs> I mean, I would have been like, uh, it's all about that base. But, you know, because <laughs> it was they were kind of bases, but they're also layers. Learning about layers. This line is going to um, drive me crazy. So what am I going to do with that? Just crazy things. Just you never know. Um, ch -ch -ch. I'm going to. I can do anything. I can do anything. I had sandpaper out earlier. I mean, I don't recommend necessarily just attacking your piece with sandpaper, especially while it's still wet. Oh my word! How? How? What? Where? When? How did I lose it? Ooh, I want spots. Do I want spots? I think I do. I like polka dots. All right. <sighs> well, we could take some of our distress crayons, which we hardly ever use. We need to use them more often. Uh, we have the these ones, which are these aren't the original ones. What were the original ones that I had? Oh, these are the first ones I bought because I got them at um. Ooh, Tuesday morning. And so I got those for a good price. And then I got the three pack. So I gifted the new ones from the three pack to my friend. And so I have more colors. Because it was cheaper to buy the three pack than it was to buy two packs. It's just, you know, it's just a thing about buying things in bulk. I think maybe this red. Is this aged mahogany? It is aged mahogany. These are just... just, just these are distress crayons, and so since I couldn't find my sandpaper, we're going to use that and kind of try to get rid of our line that way and maybe come in and frame it out a little bit. Frame it out a little bit? Yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we won't. So these are... Uh, they're water water reactive, so I could also add water. Water would be nice. And that will do things. Or I could add gesso, which would also do things. Add a little bit of gesso also because gesso is wet. And if something is water reactive, it's also going to react with wet stuff like paint, gesso, all the things. So that's given us kind of a, a, a vignette. Do I want to keep doing a vignette like that? Do I like that color? I do because it's similar to the red violet that I used. Um, so I think we might just kind of frame it out a little bit with the, and it's, you know, as when I add the gesso, it lightens it a little bit or sometimes it'll be darker sometimes it'll be lighter I like the the different you know I like it not being exactly the same all the way across Oops, more water than I wanted but that's all right just kind of vignette it in using my finger tools oh too much wet <laughs> too too much too much wet what do you do with that you grab a paper towel or a uh a, uh, a wipe that's drying up a little bit and you just you make it work is what you do and then you probably want to go after that and uh, wash your hands because that would be smart um, I never said I was smart just so you know <laughs> that might not happen here <laughs> getting kind of a, a movie kind of a thing so now we have kind of a vignette where we have just kind of this ethereal outline it frames it out and uh, and whatnot. 
Um, I mean, I should dry this, let it dry, whatever. I could add some more inking ink like it's really white right here but I don't want to just sp oh I found my things they were right there <laughs> they're right in front of my face that that tends to happen um in my line of life let's see vintage photo uh, what about ground espresso so let's take this ground espresso and just kind of Grab the high spots with it. Nope, it's not dry. We're getting gesso in our ground espresso. It's all fine and good. It's it's fine. Everything's fine. It's it's um. I I have a reinker so that I could even do. I I have a bigger inker thing that I can use the ground espresso for. So just kind of. And then, if I want to, I can come in and spray it a little bit. There we go. See, now it's not white anymore, right? Get your crayon on. <laughs> okay, just dab at it. Just do some things. All right, now, so I don't, still don't know what I want to do as a focal point or if I just want to keep it. I mean, it's only abstract if I were to make like abstract mountains or abstract, like think of something or see something in it afterwards that would make it abstract. Otherwise, it's non-objectionable. Uh, non-objectionable. There's no, I have no object in mind when I'm making it. It's basically what we're saying with that. Um, Because there is a difference. People tend to call things something that they're not. Just saying. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. What do we want? We've pushed it into the background a little bit with the gesso. Mm, do we want more gesso? Oh, must be my watch is going off. Oh, I had to put on my old wrist thing because the new one broke. And as they keep doing, the uh, when I buy a new wristband, they keep breaking. But the old one, ooh, black gesso. So we want a little bit of drama with some black. Is this the black gesso? Ugh. Why are you in the back of the drawer? I can't get to you when you're in the back of the. Or do we want stencil butter? That would go with some of the colors here. Just a little bit of stencil butter here and there. Let's grab something a little cleaner than that card for this. Of course, this means then I will have to go in the bathroom because... I'll have to wash the stencil off. The stencil butter, you'll want, you don't want to leave it on your stencil. It will harden. I'm not sure how that's going to, you know, fold with the... Uh, the thing of my job that's the what is this thing called the scroll I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work but I tend to always start at the edges and come in to the middle and, and I, I want to stop doing that I want to like not forget about the middle so that's what I'm doing today I'm remembering the middle Malcolm you're getting remembered today. Malcolm in the middle. No, okay. Whew, this. Well done. I don't know. It's probably the wet paper that is actually smelling. All right. My top corner needs a little something. I know there's the rule of threes, but I'm one of those people that I like even numbers. I like it feels more balanced see that feels more oh it does feel more balanced but I don't mind if there's like a five down here fifth little something just a little something down in the corner I'm good with it but now I want it up in that corner just well, not even circles necessarily just a little stencil butter action just
Can you have too much turquoise? No, you cannot. Teal. Oh, I could add some deep purple and we'd have the colors. All right, I'm going to pause and go wash my stencil and maybe even my hands just for you. Clean is relative in this studio, but you should see the other guy. And by the other guy, I mean the sink. <laughs> All right, um, this needs to dry, she says, but also I kind of want to smush them down a little bit. Just, oh, I love that. <gasps> Let's do that some more. Now we've got pieces for other things just by trying to smush down the stencil butter. It just seems a little bit on the high side. I'm just gently pressing on the stencil butter and getting some magic. Do you believe in magic? Kids in the sea. See, because if it's too thick, it's going to make it harder on my... Uh, ability to plus now I'm getting a little bit more texture too because now they're going to be all poof and not smooth and flat and perfect and also now I have like another layer on some other things I don't know about you but I like that all right um it just needs to dry it does there's just no getting around that all right so now what I've got my pencil that needs sharpening it is Derwent Ink Tents. This is ink black. <coughs> now in some places you can find where it actually says that a colored pencil can also be considered a crayon. Especially if it's waxy, which these are not. Um, oh look, we got a little bit of a little bit of whatchamacallit on there, which is it's fine. It's everything's fine. Um, I may bring some Posca pens into this because, you know, why would I just do crayons and pencils when I could do so much more? <laughs> I just needed something. I don't know. This I said was ink black. Yeah, it's not very black. Well, when I, if I get it wet, it will be. Totally. Oh, we ripped it. That's all right. A little bit of that just makes it a little bit more grungy, right? These are skinnier than these, and that's all right too. Um, I kind of want to put like a big, big flat. Well, what I wish I had, I think I threw it away the other day, is I had these coloring pages that um, had flowers on them, which would be great because then it would be like crayons, like something you would color in, except for I wouldn't color it in. I'd have all the crayons around it. Let me go see if I have some more of those pages somewhere. I only threw away one page. Now, sometimes... You don't start because you don't have ideas. And I'm here to tell you, sometimes you got to do the thing to get the ideas. The ideas come from the doing. Um, I would not have thought of this beforehand. But because I was in creative mode, I did think about it. Um, the book I was thinking about was this free coloring book that I got at some point. And I still have a couple pages of that left if I want to do a flower. But I don't think that's going to be quite large enough. No, definitely not. Not unless I did a couple. So, and it's, you know, I want something that's a little easier to cut. Like this dragonfly might work nicely. Um, so he's a possibility. Castle on the Mushroom is also a possibility, but the dragonfly, I know Carrie, you're saying pick the dragonfly, pick the dragonfly. There's also the squirrel. Um, and then if you don't have coloring books, you might have books with, with uh, black and white images that also could maybe work. Like this is from a book as well, which, you know, could possibly work. Also, I really like frogs and he's, he's big enough to, uh, 
He's the opposite of a dragonfly. <laughs> he eats dragonflies. Um, and I could choose to just cut around the frog and not do the flowers. I could do my own flowers around him. Um, and there's the boat there, too. Um, I also, I liked this owl, which could kind of be like, um, I could cut out the whole middle part, even. I could even kind of water, like, if I don't want to cut this part out, I could kind of watercolor that part and keep him and the branches white. And then I've got some these, if I wanted to use those in the background. And there's the tree, and we mentioned the squirrel, right? But I think, I think the dragonfly is the right choice. So you were right, Carrie. All right, let me cut that out real quick. Now, as tempted as I am to just have him be right in the middle like this, I'm wondering if I should have him flying towards the end of the year. Have him flying towards the beginning of the year. I'm flying in towards. I don't know. Let's work on the background a little bit more. <laughs> Maybe that'll help us to know what we want to do. I don't know. It might, it might not. Let's see. I want to. Maybe this one. I don't know. I don't think it matters. Nothing. I'm just going to get. I just need a little bit of water. I need my brush to be a little bit on the wet side. And I'm just going to follow my lines because this is going to make them darker, much darker. Now we'll see the ink black for these. And I think once you get them wet and then they dry, they become permanent. I think that's how ink, tank, ink tense works. I have things. It doesn't mean that I know how they work. <laughs> Definitely does not. <laughs> but I don't have any clean water right now. I, I've been to the bathroom, into the bathroom how many times now? And I never changed out my water. Could have, but I didn't. I do have another container though. Hold on. I had a container. And I had a bottle of water. So there we go. Now we have some water. We can... Oh, there was a piece of paper in there. Yeah, it's just a piece of paper. <laughs> It's just a piece of paper. No big, no biggie. This might not even be the right brush to do this with. Or I could use my finger tool. Either way, I wanted this darker. And I knew that I would need to get it wet to do that. That's how you get the ink black. You have to get it wet. I think that's how ink tense works. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I bought them to use doesn't mean that I know how to use them it's just me trying things I make no claims to know anything everything I learn I either learn from watching other people or potentially from just trying stuff there is this leaf right there I could see it in the um the background there Were you able to see that leaf? Yes? No? Maybe so? It's a piece of music. Th there's cords. Oh, and then also, if you have cords all around, you be careful if you're, like, cutting and then you go to cut something off to the side. <laughs> Just be sure that you don't do something like cut your cords. I did not cut the cords, but um, I, I kind of was concerned. <laughs> I was like, oops, let's not, not do that. Fortunately, I did not do that. Over here, okay, do you want me to pause? This is kind of boring. Or is it, you know, kind of, you know, you just kind of watch it and you're like, lady, stop talking and let me just watch the process. I don't know what the, uh, what the consensus is for that. It's kind of, I'm not a paintbrush kind of gal. I'm a Posca pen. Kind of gal, but since I used the ink tents and ripped some paper up there too, because ripping paper is fun. <laughs> ripping paper is more fun when you do it on purpose. When you wanted to rip the paper, not not necessarily when you're you're like, oops, rip the paper. 
Oops, my water got a little thick there. She thick. All right, this goes this way. And that goes that way. Oh, and I didn't feel it cutting around the dragonfly's antennae. So I will draw his antennae with something. Gel pen or ink pen or something. We got a little bit of a forest happening here, huh? Do we need some mushrooms too, maybe? With, uh, do we need more crayon? Do we need, let's see, what about crayon, crayon? Getting our crayon. Um, is this black? Black. Um, let's see. Oh, if I could just remember how to make something. <laughs> Going in without pencil and just drawing some crayon-y stuff is, is a little scary. Um. Now, our butterfly is big, so I think our mushrooms can be... Big. They don't have to be perfect, but they can be big. Um, so all the color is going to be around the coloring page. The coloring page itself, not so much. Because, okay, now, I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to melt that. So do you want to close your ears or do you want me to pause? I might need to get a lot more in there. All right, let's see what we can do. go melty crayons are the best they're the bestest should we do one over here too I mean got one over there we need to do the, the bottom part um I don't know if I have the right color in here hmm do these melt the same way because this what's this one is this probably vintage photo gathered twigs oh that might be what I want well we're going to see if it melts or not. Oh, definitely is a, uh, if it doesn't melt, it'll do something. It does melt a little bit. I was hesitant to do the melty crayon on this because um, I'm not sure how it will fold, but that's just, I just don't want to do like too much melty crayon. Some melty crayon might be okay. So I just didn't want to do too much maybe. Oh yeah, I'll have to like, if, if I can remember where I, where I put it and everything. The one guy that like, like he really melted the crayons. All right, I want to do a little um, scraffito in there with uh what do i have oh i've got this just do a little bit of a doodly doodly uh scraffito maybe just some doodliness so that's and you know i'm just gonna do all the things that you can do with crayon i'm gonna do the frittage, I'm going to do this graffito, I'm going to do do all the things. Because I can. <laughs> because why not? Because it's fun, that's why. Because I had the idea, that's why. Because the ideas come when you do 
the creating. I looked at YouTube videos and I'm like, oh, I got this one idea. That's the only idea that I liked that I actually came up with. And that was doing the uh, Elizabeth St. Hilaire Scraffito and in ink, which is what, you know, the background pages were. And then I don't want white, white. I think I want to use the. Because I want it to be. I don't have to do every place that I did it. I could do a couple other places. There we go. I don't want to get cramped. This one is beige. Beige. Maybe I do want that one. And also one there. And that's it. Stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Do 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 do. Let's see. Just. Go ahead and Ooh, it really all right. Oh, I should have. I, I do have some stencils that I totally could have. Uh, I have some mushroom stencils that I totally could have used in in the thing here, but I didn't. All right, so I want a little bit of a different top for my mushroom tops. What about what about me? This one is brushed corduroy. How do we like that? For these weird toppy ones. And then another one here. Didn't know exactly what I was going to do, so let's see. Do we want a little bit of crayon, crayon too? What do we have in here? That's purple. It's not where I wanted to go. That, why did it look brown in the box? Is there no brown in here? How now, brown cow? Nope, there's no brown. What if we just... Do a little melty melty with the, uh, what is this one? Tell me it's apricot. It's like pretty soapy, something offensive. Like what's happening there with the uh, colors intermingling um, and then well, I should outline this do I want to outline this I mean I've got it outlined already because I don't want to out since I outlined that one I guess we'll outline these too because why not Rooms. That's what those are supposed to be, if you're wondering. We're waiting for them to dry a little bit so that we can scraffito. You know what we're missing? There it is. It's kind of fun. And the melted crayon to do a little bit of uh, doodling. It's kind of fun. <sighs> Can we tell what I did? Eh, not necessarily. But there's texture. That's the, the point, right? That we've added some texture into the, <sighs> the piece. All right. Let's see. Do we have any better idea of how we want to do him now? 
I don't think I want him perfectly straight and I I never want him I never want my things like perfectly in the middle either I'm kind of I mean once in a while you know like he'd be striking if that was the design aesthetic Also, he's like in, in the forefront because that's why he's so much bigger. So perspective wise, he's in, he's in front of everything. Don't want to add anything else. What do I think? Is it getting a little overdone? Um, I mean, is there such a thing? I need a little more red. Where's the red I was using? Okay. kind of want to add a little more doodling, but I want it to be the melty crayon, I think. Ooh. The problem is, is if once the thing hits this, it just gets a little out of control. <laughs> a little less control than I was hoping for. That lesson learned there. I mean, it's fine if it's already there and then I melt it. Then it's kind of cool. And now it's hot, so I can go ahead and do that a little bit, maybe. Not loving this over here, but you know. I don't know. How much is too much? Melt your crayons. Melt your crayons. I'm just going to make them look like they're a little little thingies that just come up all over in the um in the forest in the forest in the forest kind of like uh what are they called fiddly fiddleheads but red and weird and might have been a mistake that's all right there are no mistakes, though. But if you don't love it, just add gesso. <laughs> All right, it's probably good. He called. That was my husband calling again. Because um, it gave me a minute to process some things in my head so that maybe I don't go quite as whole hog as I was planning to. So let's see. What do I want? Hmm. So that, what if I do this? What if I do this? I need a sponge. Just a little sponge will do. Just add a little stenciling, just random. I mean, not so random. I'm actually, you know, trying to cover stuff. But, you know, without actually just covering it totally in white. Hmm. And if so, was that the white I want? Or maybe just instead of using my fingers, this was just a little bit of a better way to go. Use the, the sponge for a lighter touch. Although... See, now that stencil shows, <laughs> no matter what I do, can I make the stencil go? Oh, a little bit. Oh, the red still comes through. The, the crayon acted as a resist, right? Which we, we knew that was going to happen, didn't we? <laughs> we knew it somewhere in our brain. But that was because I rubbed it. So, I mean, you know, I was trying to get the stencil to not show up so much. Also, I don't want that to be quite so square. Um, I 
just trying to push these back and I'll push back some other areas too. Doesn't have to just be those places. Maybe there's a mist in the forest. All right, I'm not loving the um the sharp edges of the sponge. It's square and that's kind of coming across. That didn't help. Well, we'll at least make it a little bit more organic, even if it's... Even if it's, uh, you know. All right. I don't want to lose my mushrooms, really, though. I like my mushrooms. I mean, I don't know if you like them. But I do. And, and that's what's... <laughs> they're looking a little childlike and crayon -y, And I'm okay with that. That's, that's where I knew the possibility was going to be going with this. Let's see. Oh, should I put some dragonflies in the background? With the big one in the front? Should I? Should I? Should I? Also... Do you want some little squiggly weeds and whatnot? How bad is it that I kind of want to cut this? Because I want these coming up with grass. Like, where's my, whoops, that's not the drawer I want. This is not the drawer you're seeking. Oh my word. Surely there's something else like it that I can, oh, this could be like little boobly, boobly things on the bottom. Um, boobly bubbly things. Boobly. Yep. That's just, those are the kinds of words that we use. Oh, crumbs. I just got it everywhere. Hmm. Obviously, it's not showing because I've been doing white on white. So that made no sense whatsoever. <laughs> Just saying. Don't do what I do. I do weird things. Where's my forest moss? Here it is. Just want me kind of some texture down here and some color and some some um let's you know <sighs> some hiding of the things she doesn't know what she wants don't listen to her She really does not know what she wants. If she did, this would have been done already. All right. I know you're all thinking, what the heck is wrong with this lady? Or you're thinking, this lady is a genius. I, I'm not sure exactly where we are with this. Um, where did the white go? All right. So I kind of want to see if I do put some dragonflies in the background. Nope, not quite. It's not quite showing up like I wanted it to. It's not the fault of the stamp, but it's... it is the user error of the person using the stamp. Oh, I don't have to go white. I could go a similar color to the background to make it look a little bit more like a shadow. So that's, I uh, got some aged mahogany and whatnot back there, which is sort of plummy sepia -y. Do I want sepia? No, I want all red or vermilion? No. I think 
Is plum in here? I think I want plum. Plum. For that corner. I don't know what I want for the other corner. Maybe if I put something under there for cushion. I don't know. There we go. There's a dragonfly coming in. I got smaller dragonflies too. I got dragonflies. I do. I got smaller ones and even smaller ones. And even smaller ones. And even smaller ones. <laughs> That's how small they go. That's Oh, this is what I kind of cut down these little pockets that I got at the thrift store at some point so that like these some of these cheap ones they ruin my other stamps like this one's got ruined but it might be because it was a cheap one I don't know so I didn't want them ruining my good stamps let's just put it that way they're about the same size okay let's go a little bit smaller uh we've got uh, more purpley than this like Dusty Concord, is that what we're looking at for that? If you don't want ink on your stuff, don't ink on your stuff. That's where we're coming from with that. We're pressing and we're pressing and we're pressing. He shows a little bit. So he's kind of in the shadow there. I don't hate that. Up here or here would be more of a plummy. Like I said, I kind of want them in the, the shadows. They fly all different directions. They're dragonflies. They're just everywhere. This one's flying off the page. Sorry, P. I had to do it. He's flying elsewhere. The dragonflies, they don't care about the art. They're just going to go where they're going to go. So, there's that. And we have some orange blossom, which is probably going to mix with the purple a little bit, but whatever. I don't even know which direction it's going now. There we go. All right, now some smaller ones. In the, let's see, here it's pretty dark. Here, oh, here is a dusty corn cord corner. Which, he's going off the page too. Sorry, not sorry. Um, and some plum, 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 oops. Because I want them to be like in the shadows. So I want them a similar color to. There he is. They're back there. He's, they're all back there. And then we have the king. Where'd he go? We lost the king. The king or the queen dragonfly in the front. Because we can. He's leading the others. He or she. All right, those ones are going that way. They're just all going every which way. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's all gonna get figured out. And I might want him to stand out some more. I was thinking about doing a shadow around him. But also, I don't wanna get him wet when I go to do the water part of it. So where's indigo? I think, oh, I think indigo might be in this. Maybe not. Outliner, teal green. Oh, let's use the teal. Why? I don't know why. Because I want to. So I'm just gonna. All right, I'm gonna kind of outline him, but then I'm gonna go. I'm going to make it a, you'll see. All right, just want to make sure that I get a decent outline. 
Am I going to do all around him? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to do back here on the bottom of the wings and whatnot. All right. Oh, my head just almost hit the lights there. I just kind of want to make it so that it's under his wings too, so I'm not seeing a line between the wings and the... Does that make sense? It might not. I'm just trying stuff here. That doesn't mean that it's going to look good or anything. It's just me trying stuff. And then I'm going to blend it out with water. Where's the other one here? Is this it? Is this really it or not? My wrist is starting to hurt. All right, so water would be nice. We have water. Also, I'm going to take a thicker, bigger brush this time. And uh, spread it out a little bit more. Maybe I'll add more color. We'll see. So I didn't color. I'm not coloring the dragonfly, but there's going to be color around the dragonfly. Don't know if this makes sense or not. And I've probably come way far further than I wanted to, but that's okay. It's a halo, 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 halo. Oh, let's see. I do like forest moss and teal together. I don't know about you guys. I didn't used to. A friend of mine would wear those two colors together and I was like, what were you thinking? But you know, now I'm all for it. I'm all, I'm all about it. There's just certain things with me that I don't understand until I understand. Gonna go out a little bit further with that. A nice dirty brush here happening. Did I use um the forest moss? Oh, it was a distress ink, wasn't it? Haha. -ha. That's all right. That's just just fine. It's just giving us some more color to work with in this area here. And I can always come back and get some more delineation of the um the bits if I want to, or I could push some of them back and keep some of them forward. That's the nice thing about using the Distress Ink with the uh, stamp. I can come in and blend it out here and there a little bit if I want. Am I in camera? I don't know. I think I am. It's Just getting this do I want to add a little bit of more teal down at the bottom, or do I want it to be, boom, teal in the middle? I mean, because we have these teals, too, though. What do we want? And when do we want it? <laughs> All right. Um... We, we have at least, we've lost some of the, we've got some red shown in the background, but we've lost the, uh, the, the bulk of it. It's, it's still there, but you know, it's not as annoying as it was. Um, do, 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 I have some thoughts about him too. So just go ahead and glue them on. Oh, that needs to dry. Okay, and then we're going to use probably some art glitter glue to put him down. Which I really should have found before I pressed the unpause key. <laughs> it's right here. 
I knew it had to be here somewhere. I don't want to get any ink on any, you know, color on him. The whole point of him is to not have any color. I'll make sure this dries completely before I do anything. And then, since I have no patience for this to dry, I will use my Staedtler pen here in a minute. I'm going to come to the right just a little bit with him, her, him, I don't know. All right, hands are too dirty for this. Just saying. You need to get glued all up on those little, doesn't want to glue on the, um, what's this? The stencil butter. It doesn't like the stencil butter. No, no. Can't do it. It's gonna be a good night. Do, 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 do. Let me find a paper towel that's dry and clean and do that so I can get it pressed down. All right, so this is get your crayon. I did. I got my crayons. Now I'm going to get my, oh my word. Oh, they're right there. I know I had them right near me. Now I'm going to get my markers. Still haven't found the other piece to this. I cleaned off my floor, but it's still not there. Fold. The Stadler. Um, this is an embossing pen, so that's not... I don't think that's what I want. That is a... Another one. I need a fine one. A fine... A more fine one for the... He needs... This one is the fine. For those bits and then I had thought about do I want oh shoot it got wet do I want any kind of well I guess we do all right I'm gonna bring the black I want to outline him. This will take a minute. I might pause for this part. There's like a little white part here that I'm going to fill in with black. And then I'm also going to go on the outside of him. Or her. And then I'll be back. Yeah, I'm going off the rails. I'm literally making rails. One or the other. Um, I don't know. I'm making a frame. I guess you could say it's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not sure if it works or not. Hopefully by the time I'm done making this, it will be, uh, look good. And I'll love it. Can't really say that right this minute, but you know. <sighs> Let's see. What does it need? I don't know. It's framed. His tail goes down here, so I had to adjust for the frame. <laughs> I had to adjust the frame for his tail for his bum and I also I did some dot dash dots in white in this border around him um I don't know I mean I like the idea of this I like that there's a coloring page that's not colored with everything colored behind it I just don't necessarily love what's happening behind it um is is the problem I, I, I do like the mushrooms and I like the stamp dragonflies in the background. I like this. Um, the dots are okay. It's the red crayon here. I kind of, you know, don't like that very much. Um, also, the winner for outlining was the Faber-Castell Bold. Worked best for that. Um, I don't know. 
what does it need? I probably just need to let it sit for a little bit and then leave it be. It needs more of this color here, maybe, with the teal. That is a honey, uh, orangey. Hmm, what do we have here? I think we have this wild honey. Um... Doesn't look like it's going to be that color. Should we test it in a corner? Probably. It's not quite that. It's a little bit uh, browner than that. Oh, and now it's mixing with the black, so that's fun. That's just some black Posca pen just mixing in there. Just spread that out with our fingers. It's all good. All right, I'm going to who knows what. Spiced marmalade, I think, is actually what I used right there. So, maybe bring that in some down here. Oh, nope, it's going to get muddy again. Wait for things to dry. Don't, don't be impatient like me. Just don't. It's just better not to. <laughs> Let's see. Spiced marmalade. I bet that I have it. I do have it. In this... So I could, so this was the wild honey. The wild honey was not quite bright enough. Um, just some tattered straw, some really bright bold. Let's see. All right, we have big with the leaves, which I'm not loving also. We have medium with that stamp and the small with the circles and the small with the doodles. And this is small. I think I want to bring back the original stencil that started out this whole thing, I think, is maybe. But that's a damask, so that might not. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Let me. Oh, when in doubt, just go crazy. Let's get this paisley thing happen in here. Now, if I had a mask for my dragonfly, that would be great. see what we can do down here without getting it on him it's not it's not showing at all oh there a little bit is showing right there Oops. don't get it on the dragonfly what are you thinking lady all right so i don't know what i'm thinking oh how about this this is bigger than the other ones that i've used I don't know if that will show. Does not show. Oh, this is, uh, I have not used, oh, it's like that because I just had it on here. What about, spray it with the, uh, the ink and then put it down. Yeah, maybe. That might work. That's the little one. Where's the big one? And then, um, could take away a little bit just to, so it's there in the background without being too much. And the problem is I can't necessarily see where I have the smaller ones per se. Hmm. I need I feel the need speed for speed. Like that. And like that, so then it kind of, well, that didn't match up. Shouldn't have tried to match it up. That was on me. All right, I do like that added more of the orange. Happy about that. Um, 
I just kind of want to, I don't know what I want to do. Something, 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 something. Don't love this. Ooh, that's cool. I do like that. So we've got circles and circles repeated, circles repeated, swirls and swirls repeated. All right, let's look through the camera. Oh, you know, it doesn't look so, it doesn't look as bad through the camera. I know y'all are probably thinking, what the heck is wrong with this lady? Um, yeah, sometimes you just need a different perspective. I don't hate it. I mean, I wish that this was different, but it could be. I don't have to leave it like that. I could just go ahead and pretend like this tail is just there and just make that be more like that. Be more better. Be more better, border. Um, isn't he's coming out of the border, you know? All right. Um, yeah, I guess I'll leave it and hope for the best. This... Do I want this to stand out more? Is that the problem? Not stand out more, but is it looking a little too crayon-y, even though that was not even crayon? It's just um, maybe not defined enough. Is that it? Nope, that's not where that one was, but oh well. The dragonfly is obviously behind those. The other dragonfly. Not the one in the front. Um, I can't tell if this is supposed to be one or not, but kind of looked like it. Maybe not. more here and there. Because I can. Shouldn't, but I can. forest right so there should be foliage somehow or other Some of these should come up. I think it's a little bit better for my eyeballs. I don't know. 
I mean, are you getting forest, Kayani forest? Well, it is what it is. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the process. Um, it was a long video, so not sure that I can even split up. I hope you guys have a delightful day. Love you.